Hi everybody, I'm here again with another hack in WordPress. So today I'm going to show you how to fix the mass iframe injection attack 2 that comes up. I believe Norton or Symantec both show this. The This is actually a pretty irritating one because I ran several site checks to see what was going on and most of the security scans out there did not work. But I'm going to show you how I did find it. So here, you see I have mass iframe injection attack 2. Um, if you do that, actually if you put WordPress in after the end of it, you're going to see that this is a fairly recent thing that just came up. So coming down here, I believe this... No, I don't think that's where I found it. Um, yeah, that's not it. Maybe that was. No, that's not it. Anyways, hey, I'm just going to walk you through how how I fix this. So the first thing I did is I went to site check.security.net slash scanner. So this is a very good site here. This was the only one that seemed to pick it up. So here I'm going to show you headphone review hq.com. And this may be fixed now. No. Nah. So here you'll see it's pretty irritating, but they're injecting some JavaScript code that's basically writing some new uh, iframes, and that's going to basically go to some malicious sites out there. And the key here is they're injecting that into your page from within one of the uh, WordPress pages. So this is the second time I've been hacked. I'm getting kind of irritated now. So needless to say, after I'm done getting rid of this, I'll be looking into how to really secure my files so that this doesn't happen anymore. So now that I see this here, there was there was a website that I found that actually showed me where this hack is. So I'm going to show you. Um, I'm using Bluehost. If you're not using Bluehost, the file should be in the same directory layout, so you'll go in and find that. So here we go. I'm going to log into my Bluehost account. I'm already logged in so now I'm going to go down to my file manager and I'm going to go into the document room for headphone review hq.com and this is your standard WordPress layout directory layout so in here I'm going to go to W actually it's not even WP content it's WP dash settings dot php so open this up I do a code edit straight in here I mean you can do it however you want if you want to download it and open it up in your favorite editor you can do that but if you scroll down to the very bottom here uh, there is a function that you're going to see and you can search for this it's called check underscore wordpress this is total garbage um, what it's doing here, just so I can walk you through it real fast, is it's getting the temp directory. I don't know if this is referring to, just because I haven't dumped it out yet, I don't really care. It's either going to the server's root temp directory, which is usually slash TMP in, in, uh, in your server's root, or it's going to the wp-content slash w3tc slash TMP directory. Either which way, I, after I killed out all the temp directory settings, I came in here and I couldn't find this file anywhere, but this is still the malicious hack. So what you need to do is as simple as this. Come in here, one, two, three, four, five, kill everything from the beginning of that function down to the do action of the init. And this is something to keep in mind. If you see something in here that is doing an add action to WP head, that probably means it's a site script injection. It's very possible. Um, but this WP underscore ink, I know that's garbage. So delete that. Save the changes. All right, now that file should be live. So I'm going to go back over here to this sitecheck.sakuri.net slash scanner. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit rescan. It's important that you choose rescan because if you don't, this re just refreshing this page, they cache this. So 
you won't see it update so you hit rescan this takes a few seconds like 10 15 seconds I'll gladly wait. All right, so now you can see the malware is gone. My site's back in a healthy state yet again. Um, and just for all of you out there, the reason you use WordPress is because it allows you to do so many things quickly and easily but it is a scripted language it does run off databases you use plugins that I mean the reason you use plugins so you don't have to code everything yourself so the drawback is there are vulnerabilities and because WordPress is used by so many people much like Windows Microsoft Windows it's a target for attacks so you've really got to stay up on making sure that your sites are healthy make sure that you haven't been hacked because Anything like this that happens is potential people that aren't going to be able to make it to your site. Um, I found this out because somebody um, that works with me on one of my sites actually said, hey, I'm getting this, this thing with Norton. I believe it was Norton antivirus, and I can't even get to your site. And everywhere I looked, I couldn't find anything. And sure enough, this particular site was recommended somewhere. I can't remember where and it came up on here. So I highly recommend the site check.sakuri.net slash scanner. Uh, the only one that picked it up out of like four or five that I tried. So hopefully this will help you out. It's frustrating and in a future video I'm going to show you how you can actually lock down your WordPress files so that this won't happen to you seemingly every few weeks. So uh, this is Alan with untetheredincome.com. I hope this has been helpful. Leave your comments, questions below. If, if you have any questions at all about any of this, please feel free to contact me and I'll get back to you. Thanks and good luck.